All right, hope you guys enjoyed that little sweet opening to the game. Welcome to Sky Saga. Oh, they actually talked to me. That's pretty cool. But, welcome to Sky Saga. So I was actually lucky enough to get inside their Alpha 10, which was pretty much yesterday for you guys, but today for me because I am still recording. But... Let's see we what it has to offer. To the docks. Follow me. I have to take down the post rendering a little bit. Come on. Oh, post processing. Come on. All right, I get it. Come on. All right, looks like our sensitivity is a little bit low, but I can work with it. Graphics and everything look pretty dope. Oh my. Um guys, I think I need a different way. The Lumo Shield has fallen. The city is falling apart. You'll have to find another way round. Find a sharp stone and smash your way through. Um, okay. Pick this up. Oh, right click it. Uh, that's another way to uh, mine things. I found you. Oh, you're Guildmaster. Good, you made it. Let's become friends in case we get separated again. With benefits? I mean, um, alright, noted. So, it's pretty weird that I'm adding an NPC. Now, I need your help. The other guild muscles are trapped, and I can't save them both. You'll have to help one, and I the other, okay? At least you're honest. But so far, it looks pretty dope. Cut off. You'll have to bridge that gap if you want to save him. Like I said, visuals and everything look Kerrigan pretty good. Is surrounded by robots. You need to fight them off if you want to help him escape. How? Ah, uh, we'll go fight. Why not? The spirit, you rescue Peregrine, and I'll save Mermesh. Take this sword and use it to destroy those robots. Those robo. Oh, raw bones ain't shit. At the airship dock. This isn't going to be easy. Are you ready to be a hero? No. For some reason, Sky Saga just looks like a um, BR game to me. Wouldn't be bad of one. Take that. Oh, no. How... I can't block or anything? Oh, I can... I can tab to kick. Oh, I'm definitely kicking somebody to death. Oh, you're a friend. Darn, I was gonna kick you in the face. Thanks for your help, hero. Those raw bones might have given me some trouble if you hadn't come along. But you weren't fighting them. <laughs> Take this keystone. It contains the last of the city's Lumo energy. You can use it to boost your rewards. Noted. Even though some of the text is pretty small. Wonder if there's a way to fix now that. Let's leave our home. The Lumo shield has been breached and invaders have overwhelmed the city. But rest assured, we will return and we will have our revenge. There is but a single option. One more city of light remains. One final bastion against the darkness that threatens to engulf all of Dome. Bastion? I don't think I want to this fight a turn, bro. Where we must go. To the city of last light. Well, at least the character's cheerful in some way. <laughs> what a savage. 
Gotta say, their CGI is really good too. Like an interesting art style. Which still makes me wondering, uh, yeah, which still makes me wonder, uh, why isn't the game in beta yet? So far, it looks pretty good. I know most developers want to get everything, like, as much as they can ready. But so far, it looks like it can head into beta. Probably they're working on some more things, maybe? I mean, I know a lot of people have been complaining that they've been in the alpha for so long, but I'm kind of interested to see how far they take it. Alright, where do I want to land? Oh, vote for your favorite photo. I like, oh, well, well I didn't get to vote. My bad. Whoops. Just look at me. It's like, yeah. I'm guessing this character's creation. Oh my god, look at that gorgeous face. <laughs> Alright, uh, options. That's what I want. Let's see if I can increase the text a little bit. Interface. UI scaling. Let's scale that a little bit more. That's more readable. Anything else in here that would help? Alright, that makes everything more readable. I do apologize to you guys. Uh, let's see. Backstory. I could be an ice fisher. Uh... I want to be a sky soldier. But let's go back to our uh, races. So we have this cat looking race. Well, cheetah or leopard, whichever one. We got basically your humans. And then we got some. I guess either lizard people or aquatic. I have no idea. And then we have your monkey race. We're just gonna go with humans. Now, what are some other things? Facials? Green is my favorite color, so we'll just go with that. What? No green eyes? Come on. Oh, how could you guys... Well, that's kinda greenish. Kinda. Kinda, kinda. Now they have some pretty interesting hairs. Looks totally different from the videos I've seen back then since, um... Pretty much Alpha 9 or 8, whichever one I was looking at. But you got some Goku looking hair right here. You guys could be a Super Saiyan if you want. I'm gonna take, uh, this hair. Why not? Now we do have several beards we can rock. I'm gonna rock this beard. That just looks fantastic to me. Wait, what? Eh. Eh. Yeah, let's just rock this beard. Just that magnificent beard. Now we can make, like, face paint with your markings. And we can chase all the colors at the end of it. Hmm. Oh wait, I didn't change the color of my markings. Well, I guess that was just fine. So I can see that all of their uh, character creation is not in the game yet. If it seems like they're missing colors or something like that. All right, guess we're starting. Am I like darkened? My mic is like right beside me. All right, city of the last light. Well, city of last light. Let's go to the city and see how it looks. All right, what is going on now? All right, pretty dope, like city and everything.
magnificent. Even though I'm kind of lagging. To be expected with games that are in alpha though. So I guess they are still working on a few things. Welcome to the city of last light. This city is a safe haven, a refuge for all who seek it. Now if you guys are wondering, are my graphics max? No, they're not max. Pretty sure they're I'm on medium right now. I'm glad to see you escape the shattering, friend. Fortune has smiled upon you. Smiled upon we you. We were lucky. Everyone who escaped was. Mermesh and Peregrine got out safely. As did many, thanks to the brave actions of Eva and the other heroes. You were hitting me with so many words I've never heard of. Sadly, Eva herself did not make it. Rip Eva. Rip. But we must try not to dwell on such sadness. I am Harana, the city treasurer. Yep, you it look greedy. It is a pleasure to meet you. If you are ever in need of knots, I buy items at very reasonable price. Oh, knots. Okay. Well, I was not looking at no, the text. I, am I apologize. Sure eager to explore. I need to stop. There is much to see. You guys are mixing in any text. Plaza, That's just pretty much it. Me. He will help you get started. May fortune favor you, my friend. And once again, welcome. You're just after my goat. I can just tell. I can just see it in your eyes. All right, I'll brighten up the place a little bit more. Oh, that looks pretty dope. Now she just looks like the greedy type. Just the one to hold gold. Uh, in. That's shining. Why is it shining? Adventures or something like that? I don't know. There's another player. New arrival. He's just like me. Alright, where am I going? To these little dots, I guess? Explorer Hall. Let me just get around you guys. Stars above! It's you! The hero that came to my aid! I knew you would return to us. Even though we saw your airship fall, I was sure. Tell me, we were incredibly fortunate to escape destruction. But what an adventure it was, eh? I still can't quite believe it. We'll be talking about it for years. If only we'd managed to save everyone. I wonder if they're doing voice acting for, like, all the characters. There are still so many questions. The shattering. How can we stop it? What caused it? Where did it come from? Once we find the answers, we can begin to push back the darkness. The darkness. However, we must first ensure the city is stocked and prepared. Though my guild handles the exploring, we rely on the settlers to sustain the city by gathering supplies from the realms. I think you ought to see the realms for yourself. <laughs> As it happens, there is someone I would like you to help. A gatherer who you will find in the forest realm. Okay. Open your atlas when you're ready to depart. I am kind of blocking words, guys. I do apologize. I can't actually see my body or my feet. But I run like super fast. And you actually look pretty cool. Aw, oh, I can't, like, crouch down. Rip. Alright, let's go talk to our next objective. We don't have a sword or a weapon or anything. Settler Plaza. Is this, like, the shop and everything? Looks like it. I like how everything lights up as soon as I get in here. Hello. I'm just gonna come back here and take all your stuff. Scroll holder. Oh, does this just pretty much tell me what's all in here? Hey, buddy. I can't talk to you from right here. Oh, you don't want to talk to me at all. I love your eye color.
What's this? A lily. I don't have post processing on, so it's taking a while to process some little bit of things. Alright, this guy doesn't have voice acting. Neither do you, right? Rip. Let's go talk to this guy. I like the helmet. So you have arrived at last. Peregrine was sure you would return to us, and I am overjoyed to see he was right. We are blessed to have found such a majestic place to call home. A majestic I am honored place. to welcome you to it. I am Mermesh, leader of the Mermesh. Union of Settlers. Though the threat of destruction still looms below us, my guild works to bolster the city's defenses and hold back the darkness. I would be honored if you would join us by building, sharing islands, and completing challenges. We can generate energy to strengthen the Lumo Shield. I would like you to visit one of the featured islands and okay. complete its challenge. I will do that. N is for definitely not map. Featured islands. Let's go there. This is a promoted island. It features a challenge which you can complete and earn rewards. If you finish it fast enough, you can claim your place on the leaderboard. All right. Complete a race. I got this. Ah, oh, darn. Rip. Oh, what the hell? I got. Maybe I should just. You're telling me to click it. That's the thing. Oh. Sorry, guys. Went full retard. I I apologize. Whoops. I think that guy was like hitting me with his sword or trying to get my attention. I don't think I was paying attention at all. Just trying to finish my quest. Which creature do I like the most? I like the chickens. The chickens are a lot better. I clicked it. I, I don't know if I voted. I guess I did vote. I like the forest better. Alright, we're back. Okay, somebody's pushing me, so there is collision. Alright, noted. That could get annoying in the future. Just trapping your friends inside of corners. Oh, why, why did I go up there? There's fall damage, too. Noted. Ow. Oh god, you guys can't see that, can you? Alright, noted. But why don't you have voice acting? Alright, I shall bring them to you. Even though I have them right here. I'll claim those. Alright, so it seems like I got some e mail up here, so let's go check and see what it is. Oh, I get all of this stuff for leveling up? I'll take that. Alright, let's look at this recipe. Clothes inventory. 
learn recipe. So I just looked at it, <laughs> and I learned it. Yay! Let's go to our next objective. Okay, I'm still taking fall damage randomly. Did I regen my HP, or did it just level up and give my HP back? Yeah, I regen my HP over time. Okay, noted. Welcome back, hero. Wait. I hope you have been inspired. Okay, yeah. Though the shattering has decimated much of our world, we will continue to build with passion and determination. We will protect our home. That is the aim of the settlers. I look forward to seeing what you will create. But before you can start, you will need somewhere to build. Speak to... Alright, speak to Dufferin. Oh, it's over here. So you're here to learn about the recipes, rolls. Oh, fantastic. My love for crafting furniture is unraveled. And it gives me great joy to share it with others. So to learn a recipe, just equip it and read it. Yeah, I learned that one. Once you know the item recipe, the next step is to combine the ingredients and craft it. Some items can be crafted by hands, such as torches, but more complex items technically need a table to craft. Okay, noted. So, is it like straight up Minecraft? Nope, nope, it's normal. Also, I need to craft a torch. Your torch has been made. I got five torches. Wow, that guy just ran me over. Do I talk to you again? Ah, create a crafting table. All right, I'm gonna use the crafting table. To make an item, uh... What was the like most complex item that we couldn't do? I know we can make these outside of it, so let's make a chair. Come here, Mr. Chair. Do we speak to you again? Yeah, we do. Phenomenal! The wide world of crafting is now open to you, and it so is my store. If you feel the feel like purchasing recipes oh so you're basically the guy I come to if I just need something prepared for me thanks fam what did you just give me you should just give me a crafting device thanks I I honestly want that so far this game is actually pretty good so far but I'm more interested into getting out into adventure and actually getting some stuff done so, that's what we're going to skip to, guys. I'm going to finish these quests up, and then we're going to go explore a little bit. Or we'll probably get to our own place or something. Alright, so we just got a quest from this guy to visit, yeah, to visit our home island. I wonder, can I follow the map? Let's do that. Oh, I can follow the map. <laughs> but I respawned. Uh, that's good to know. <laughs> Alright, so... Is it this guy we talked to to get to our home? You are proving yourself incapable and reliable, and your path is now, is now your own. If you wish to aid... Okay, so I could just do daily quests from you or from somebody else. Sell a recipe, take a photo of a friend's island. I don't have any friends. Rip that. So, we're just gonna take sell a recipe. That's all I got for you. Oh, uh, wait. Is our island back here? I like how I just take, like, the most insane amount of damage for one jump. Like, I could jump from right here and break my ankles 
And it seems like it's pretty brutal on your fall damage. So that is quite something. But I'll see you guys when we get to my island. Alright guys, we're going to our island. Um, it seems that... Actually, you uh, go here to get into your island. On your um, actual uh, traveling map. Alright, we are on my island. Forest ruins. Ruins. What's this? I'll take that. Thank you. So is this where I build all my glorious items? Are those chickens? Nope, those are sheep. I'll take that sharp stone. Murder the poor sheep. That's what I do in all my survival slash Minecraft games. Rip sheep. What? I get nothing from the dead sheep. I'm sorry, buddy. I killed your friend for no reason. I thought he would give me wool or some meat or something. Apparently, he did not. Oh, I, I picked I pick this up and place it somewhere. Oh well, you, you know I don't I don't really need that. Let's let's get rid of that. Wait, there's a door here. So I could pick up this door, and I'm gonna move it. Um, let's let's make a house. Let's make a house like right about uh. Here. It's gonna be a creepy house. That's what we're gonna make. What is in here? Nothing. Nothing. Man, our our place is looking horrible. Yeah, I can't jump up there. Let's get a better like viewpoint or not. Oh, I can actually travel up here. But there's nothing like interesting inside of your empty place. Okay, or not. Let's. Hey, hey, out of my way, you magic floating rubble. Oh, you can actually see floating islands. That's actually pretty cool. But is it other people's islands that I'm seeing? Or is it just islands that are just sitting there like, hey, what's up? So, yeah. All right, there we go. This is like the best view we're going to get. So we got a little forest over there. I might, if anything, I would just clear out this whole ruin and just make like a flat surface. But I'm actually quite curious to figure out how... Uh... Oh, I can pick that up. Okay. There is picking up and um, harvesting things. It was weird because... I couldn't really find anything to harvest or pick up. But that's actually pretty cool. Well, rip flower. So I was curious how mining and getting objects was how that was gonna work. But now we see. So uh what did it say? Place a blueprint on your on your island uh inventory chair whoa no no right click chair placement chair uh how how does one rotate chair how to chair rotate okay i just kicked all right guys i i figured out how to do it i it's it's not really an actual rotation, you have to actually face a certain direction just to place it. Noted. Noted, after a while of trying to figure that out. Hey, you sleeping on the job, sheep? You're supposed to be sheeping. Wake up. You better not be slacking. Oh, no, your friend's slacking off too. Wake up, sheep. Get to sheeping. But we're gonna leave this place and go explore into some adventures.
Even though we don't have a sword or anything. Should be interesting. So it seems like there's different places that you can get into. But it's going to be at like certain times. And some of them require material. But some of them are free. So you would have to spend your time wisely. So that's actually pretty interesting. And good to know. Alright. Now I know this video is going to be pretty long. But I'm going to try like. Cut out a few unnecessary parts. Well as much as I need or want to. I'm going to like that one. Ah. An adventurer. Have you come all this way to help me? Excellent. Well, there's plenty of important business to be done. Follow the Okay, right, right. I shall follow the path. And fuck this chicken. Murder the chicken. What? I didn't get any actual food or anything? What the hell, man? Well, that thing murdered for no reason. Oh, oh, well, oh. give, give me that back. Give, give me that back. So can I just, yeah, okay, when you're in adventure mode, you can start digging up things. Can I take this? Oh, nope, I just broke it. Okay, whoops. My bad, whoever's lamp that is, uh, you no longer have one. Forgotten rune. Welcome to the Forgotten Ruins. Through this island is free from danger. The ruins are not always so safe. It pays to be prepared out here. So, why don't you practice your sword stroke? Hmm, um, some scarecrows. I mean, what? Did you give me so? Did you give me a sword? You better have. Alright, there's just basically things I should have put inside my island, but I did not. I was so curious to get here. Get get stroked. Rip that guy. You're a natural. That scarecrow didn't stand a chance. Of, of course. I don't like you, Gather. Now that that's out of the way, I could use your assistant. I'm out here gathering art and wood for the settlers. Alright. So you're just basically looking for supplies? I got you. I got you. And probably another episode, but it doesn't look like anything's up right now. Which is very kind of sad. Hey chickens. Now that I have a weapon, oh, oh, they do drop things. I just have to kill them with the sword and not the pickaxe. Okay. I don't get the difference between killing anything with a pickaxe or a sword. Of uh, what difference would that make? So I guess the sword does a different amount of damage. Sword does cut off wool, so I can see the logic behind that. So I guess I'll just take this. That just means you have unlimited wool inside of your place, guys. Okay, this flower is very doable. Like, dur durability, like, too high. But, uh... What else could we do? Let's go kill some more sheep. Okay. Now we're just murdering random things at this point. You know you reach the all-time low when you start killing random animals. Now, there is a nowhere else that I can go on adventure because everything else is is pretty much locked. So, currently not available. It's uh, five hours later, or six hours technically, so I'm not willing to wait that long. I have an island browser. Let's go look at some people's islands. Oh, this one looks nice. Okay, I didn't mean to push, push that. Go to the publish. So it looks like you can check out other people's island and everything they build and let's let's go check it out. See how it is. I mean the screenshot looks pretty nice. Uh, I like this one better. Uh, I like neither. 
before we wrap up the video, we're just gonna check somebody else's house. So this would probably be the last house we're gonna check. Even though we didn't really check any. Hmm. Oh, is this just... One... Two... Three. Oh my. Okay, their house. That, that looks pretty dope. But do I actually take damage if I fall into it? Let's see. Yep, I do. I do. <laughs> I definitely do. Looks like this guy thought out his place a little bit. It's like, a, oh god. That's Sungdo. Uh, let's see. There's L, three, oh, smile, okay, okay, I see what you're doing here. Nope, 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 go back, go back. Nope, nope, I will make you smile. This guy is pretty clever and creative, I, I give it that. So you can put that back. And can I go down here? Yes, I can. This this person is like extremely clever. No! I wanted it! Oh well. Oh, he tried to kill me! You murderer! Wait, can I just literally fall down here? Does it like rebuild? Okay, never mind. I would I would have said that was a clever trap. But hold on, does it just rebuild around me? All right, it gives me a path I can get out. I nearly died there. Let's let's be careful and not die. But this person had a lot of time on their hands. But I'm impressed, actually. What's this? Firework display? Well, I have no fireworks, so... Ah! Alright, that's a good... <laughs> that's a good thing to close out the video on. So, I hope you guys... Did I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's pretty much a fun game. I give it that for like early bases, but you know, some of the places are locked, so I can't show you guys like a lot right now. But if you guys do enjoy the video, do let me know, and I might do a little bit more while I'm in Alpha 10. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.